Liberal Viewer presents. So at least as far back as McCarthyism and the Cold War, Republicans have politicized national security by trying to portray Democrats as weak on something, be it communism or terrorism or whatever, and the latest version last week came when Republicans reacted to a speech by President Obama in which he said the nation is at war, as if it were a big change for Obama, a reaction exemplified by an editorial in the right-wing Washington Times claiming Obama has discovered the war on terrorism, even though Obama's speech did not include the phrase war on terrorism, which, as I've explained in previous videos, is an Orwellian dangerous term, and even though President Obama has been using the phrase nation at war throughout his presidency, going all the way back to his first day, as you can see in this clip from President Obama's inaugural address. Our nation is at war against a far-reaching network of violence and hatred. Now, despite this consistent rhetoric from President Obama, Republicans took to the airwaves last week trying to spread their fake talking point that Obama had just started saying the nation is at war, and when such Republicans like former Bush Chief of Staff Andy Card tried this fake talking point on real news networks like MSNBC, actual straight news anchors like Nora O'Donnell made sure viewers heard the truth, as you can see in this clip. It's wrong for the president not to recognize we are at war, and I believe that he, he acknowledged Andy, the real he war does, yesterday. So yesterday the there past. was a change. There was a change in the president's tone last evening, and I thought it was appropriate. Uh, we are at but war. But Mr. Secretary, the, 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 he, the, the in his inaugural address, Obama in his inaugural address said we are at war. Uh, now, that kind of took the wind out of him, but... More importantly, it left viewers of that news program better informed, which is, of course, the exact opposite of what happened when John Scott, the supposed straight news anchor over on Fox News, hosted one of those unfair Fox News three-ways on this topic that same day, which seemed designed to emphasize the false Republican talking point, beginning with the introductory part here. We are at war. We are at war against al-Qaeda. Those words seem to mark a change in tone from an administration that stopped using the phrase war on terror. So what's behind the change? Joining us for a fair and balanced debate, Matt Schlapp, a former White House political director to President George W. Bush, and Fox News contributor Susan Estrich. She is a well-known Democrat who managed the presidential campaign of Michael Dukakis. Hmm, now... While Susan Estridge did manage Michael Dukakis' 1988 campaign, she also was featured in the film Outfoxed from Brave New Films as one of right-winger Sean Hannity's biggest liberal friends because of her penchant for accepting so many Republican premises, and that's just the role she played in this three-way, accepting the premise of the false Republican talking point fed to her by the Fox News anchor that you can see in this clip. What gives here, Susan? We weren't having a war on terror for the first year of this administration. Now, all of a sudden, we seem to have a war on al-Qaeda. Why? Well, I think the president is angry, and he's right to be angry at these failures of intelligence. And I think what he's trying to do is shake up the bureaucracy. I don't think he's any more or less determined than he was a week ago. I really don't think tone is ultimately the issue. And Susan Estrich is right that tone isn't really the issue, but even more so when this supposed change in tone doesn't even exist, though the Fox News anchor just kept hammering away at it, assisted by his Republican guest, beginning with the mislabeling of misinformation as cynicism that you can see here. The cynics would say, though, that, uh, uh, Matt, that, that the president was sort of reading the tea leaves, hearing the public anger about all of the dots that were not connected here, and decided to come out with a strong statement because people are demanding that. Well, first I just want to say, John, I really applaud the president a year into his presidency to acknowledge we're at war. And we're at war with a foe, I think, a quote from his own speech that's bent on our destruction. Huh, and, of course, instead of correcting that fake Republican talking point like an actual journalist would, supposed straight news anchor John Scott just amplified it, repeating the original false claim from the conservative Washington Times that you can see in his follow-up question to the Republican here. The Washington Times today was maybe not so charitable. They said, glad you finally noticed. Well, here's the problem. If you think about it a little further, my problem is not with what he's calling the war, which he now acknowledges. It's the fact that he has the staff of Harvard Law School uh, fighting this war. And now, Susan Estridge, as a Harvard Law School graduate, did challenge that last assertion. But then, in case you missed the main Republican talking point that saying the nation is at war is a big change for Obama, the Fox News anchor repeated it one more time 
as a premise of his final question to Susan Estridge, a false premise she just again accepted, as you can see in this clip. Susan, I don't know if you did this on the Dukakis campaign, but it seems like these days not much happens in politics or in a place like the White House without poll testing, trying a phrase out and seeing how, it, how, oh, it, yeah. uh, how people respond to it. Do you think that, that that's what this White House did with that particular phrase, war on al-Qaeda? No, I think the president is just toughening his language because the circumstances call for tough language. Uh, now, again, Susan Estrich was right. The situation does call for tough language, but she was wrong to accept the false Republican premise that Obama's language has changed. After all, President Obama ran as a candidate who is not against all wars, but just against dumb wars, and he promised to shift America's focus away from the dumb war of choice in Iraq and towards the war of necessity against the organization actually attacking Americans, and that's the consistent Obama policy I think Fox News and the Republicans are trying to get viewers to forget, but I want to know what you think. Does the focus from Fox News and the Republicans on a change in President Obama's tone that doesn't even exist show their inability to find anything of substance to criticize in President Obama's national security leadership? And to question the premise on which Fox News, Republicans, and President Obama all seem to agree. Does characterizing the American response to attacks from al-Qaeda as a war exaggerate al-Qaeda's importance and give al-Qaeda prestige and recruiting power that works against America's interest? I, YouTube, you decide.